Whew, boy, uh, so two sessions today. We got a lot of racing in, and we haven't done a lot of racing this fall, so uh, um, I thought we looked better this afternoon than this morning. Um, although this morning I thought we showed some pretty good pop in, in, our, in our sprints. And uh, yeah, but this afternoon, um, we had, a, we had a, a, a lot of different, different girls coming out of the woodwork uh, that maybe didn't show off a whole lot this morning and swam a lot better this afternoon. And um, I guess if I kind of jumping out at me first, I think Imogen Mears, I mean, she swam four races in the morning and four in the afternoon. And, and I mean, she seems to be getting her hand on the wall first most times. Um, I know uh, she broke a full record this morning in the 50 back and that 100 back time this afternoon should set her pretty good in our conference. Um, uh, yeah, Becca, Becca swam, swam really well today. Um, you know, she, she was out of the water for two weeks because of uh, kind of as a COVID contact tracing, but she, she seems to be swimming pretty sharp and, and pretty strong. Yeah, uh, Marta, I think, had a pretty good day. We've thrown her in a couple of breaststroke races, which is not typical for her, but uh, we're, we're kind of thin there right now. She won the 200 free with, I think, a, a real smart, strong swim, and I, and I thought she had a good IM earlier today. What does Rice need to do to have a uh, good couple of events tomorrow? Well, tomorrow's 200 of strokes, um, so, and, and, and 100 free, so, you know, usually, usually we, we finish really strong on that last day and, um, you know, championship format. Tomorrow, uh, we'll see. That'll be the third session in about a 24-hour period. So, I, you know, that's our conversation with the girls is uh, what can you do to, to maximize your recovery? Eat, sleep, and hydrate, and anything else, uh, take advantage of it because we, we don't want to waste an opportunity tomorrow.